math grade 1. Quarter 1, week 7, day 1. Let's learn about addition of numbers with sum up to 10 using concrete objects and pictorial models. Matatag curriculum. Hello kids, it's me, Teacher Frel. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and hit the notification bell for the latest video. You can also follow my Facebook page, Teacher Frel TV. For today's lesson in Math 1, we will discuss about Addition of numbers with sum up to 10 using concrete objects and pictorial models. Day 1 At the end of the lesson, the learner shall be able to Represent the addition of numbers with sum up to 10 using concrete objects and pictorial models. And Perform the addition of numbers with sums up to 10 by putting objects together. Let's do this activity. If we combine 5 popsicle sticks and 4 popsicle sticks, how many popsicle sticks do we have? Correct! 5 and 4 is 9. 5 popsicle sticks and 4 popsicle sticks is 9 popsicle sticks. What if we combine 3 popsicle sticks and another 3 popsicle sticks. How many popsicle sticks do we have? Correct! 3 and 3 is 6. What if we combine 4 popsicle sticks and 1 popsicle stick? How many popsicle sticks do we have? Correct! 4 and 1 is 5. Addition is one of the basic operations in mathematics. It means putting together two or more numbers to find their total or sum. To illustrate addition as putting objects together. Let's say the following words. Put together. Combine objects. Group of objects. Again, the following words are put together. Combine objects, group of objects. Look at the box below. The box has a hole on top where balls are dropped. It has a plastic front for them to see the inside of the box and a divider that divides it into two parts or compartments. Let's play a guessing game. I'm going to drop a certain number of balls into the box. You need to tell me the total number of balls dropped by combining the balls in the two compartments. Let us see this example. I dropped two balls inside the left compartments. And I dropped three balls inside the right compartments. So how many balls are dropped in the box? You may use your counters or your fingers to represent the balls. You are going to add 2 and 3. So 2 balls and 3 balls makes 5 balls. Let's see another example. How many balls are dropped in the box? Inside the left compartments, I drop 4 balls. And inside the right compartments, I drop 6 balls. So, how many balls are dropped in the box? 4 balls and 6 balls makes 10 balls. There were 10 balls dropped in the box. Do this activity. Use your counters to fill in the blanks. For number 1, 4 counters and 3 counters makes blank counters. Use your counters. For example, I use marbles. Draw. 4 marbles and 3 marbles. So 4 and 3 makes, let's count, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Makes 7 counters. 4 counters and 3 counters make 7 counters. 
Number 2. One counters and six counters makes blank counters. Draw one marble and six marbles. Then count one plus six. One counters and six counters makes seven counters. Number three. Draw five counters or five marbles and one counter. So five and one makes six counters. Number four. Six counters and three counters makes blank counters. Draw six counters and three counters makes nine counters. Number five. Four counters and four counters makes eight counters. When groups of objects are put together, a bigger group is formed. The number of objects in this group can be counted to know how many objects there are in all. For this activity, count the objects in the two groups. Draw and write how many there are in all. Number 1 2 hearts and 1 heart is 3 1, 2, 3 Number 2 4 stars and 2 stars is 6 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 Number 3 4 sticks and 5 sticks is 9 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 Number 4 3 circles and 4 circles is 7 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 And for number 5 3 triangles and 2 triangles is 5 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 So kids, do you understand our lesson for today? Wow! Good job! Kids, I hope you learn a lot from this lesson. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids! Thanks for watching!